down. Godzilla survived. Gigan has gone down. Godzilla survived. Super X2 has been damaged from Godzilla's attack. Super X2 is losing functionality. This is not good. Super X2 is badly damaged. The mission is a failure. We have completed the evacuation of the area likely to be affected. Super Mecha Godzilla is commencing generator shutdown sequence. 180 seconds until shutdown. Super Mecha Godzilla engage. First squad, begin your assault. Super Mecha Godzilla will arrive in 30 seconds. The generator is losing power. One generator has been destroyed. Godzilla has been damaged from Godzilla's attack.
fact that Godzilla is badly damaged. The last remaining generator in the country has been destroyed, ma'am. 60 years of innovation and progress obliterated in the blink of an eye. If the Earth could speak, maybe she would tell us Godzilla was here to cleanse this world. That's quite enough, Operator. I wonder if Godzilla will still search out more G-Energy. He looks to be heading back into the sea. He's returning to hibernation until humanity has recovered, at which time he'll no doubt rise from the depths to wreak havoc on us all again. Something's happening to Godzilla! What is it? Godzilla's body temperature is rising fast. The only explanation is that his internal organs are experiencing mass instability due to consuming too much G-Energy in a short span of time. If this continues, a G-Energy explosion is inevitable. <sighs> The explosion is likely to reach the upper atmosphere and cause a cataclysmic event of global proportions. The released highly concentrated G-Energy will disperse over the entire planet, damaging nature and people to an immeasurable degree. We must do everything in our power to prevent this occurrence, but what can we actually do to stop it? We could freeze him. Freeze him? Yes, G-Force possesses freeze missiles. Firing them all at Godzilla would freeze him and lower his body temperature momentarily. And thus largely suppressing the damage, it's our best shot. But what are the chances it'll work? It's worth a try, at least. The problem is our weaponry has been largely destroyed in battle. We're unsure if we can perform at optimum levels. And then there's the question of what to do after we freeze Godzilla. Knowing our limits is half the battle. We must concentrate on stopping that explosion. We are unanimous. Take us to maximum disaster level. We're on the verge of extinction. Uh, understood. Contacting all G-Force units as we speak, ma'am. We've used every damn trick we've got. It's out of our hands now. missiles at will these should freeze Godzilla and deplete his atomic energy super x3 engage first squad begin your assault super x3 will arrive in 30 seconds Second squad, begin your assault. Third squad, begin your assault. Oh my god. 
deserve this. Super X3 is badly damaged. Seventh Squad, begin your assault. Monsters on Earth. A Kaiju has appeared. Godzilla. Ninth Squad, begin your assault. We'll take it by air. Moving on target. 